Now, Ted, talking about the overall number of outages, wanted to give you an idea of which communities are seeing the highest percentage of outages. You take a look at Foster, 100% of Foster customers without power, 99% without power in Gloucester. Situate and Westport hit hard as well as Bristol, nearly 90% of Bristol without power. Exeter, Dighton, over 80% without power in Barrington with 78% of homes without power. Number of customers in Rhode Island just to kind of compare things. Uh, we have seen more power outages from last night's storm than we saw from Superstorm Sandy, as well as the macro burst that came through two summers ago. Those both with 100, 121,000 customers without power. I don't expect that we'll see any additional significant wind damage. Can't rule out some isolated pockets of wind damage. It'd be more prone to say trees that are already damaged. If you have a limb that's hanging down, something that's leaning across some power lines, those could come down this afternoon as we continue to see some clearing, but also some gusty winds. These are from the west right now at 26 miles per hour, and we're keeping our threat tracker elevated as we continue to see a wind advisory showers winding down, but we'll still see some gusts between 25 and 40, maybe even 45 miles per hour over the next few hours. Gradually, those winds will tend to die down. Our temperatures in the lower to mid 50s right now, cooler than what we woke up to this morning, about 10 degrees cooler, and they'll stay fairly steady in those low to mid 50s through the rest of the afternoon. Radar still some lingering showers over eastern Massachusetts. If we widen out the view, those are going to be lifting towards the east and northeast. And the showers that you see over western New England should steer clear of our area. So I do think we're done or just about done with the rainfall. Winds gusting out of the west now, 37 miles per hour in Providence. New Bedford gusting to nearly 40 miles per hour. And Hyannis and Nantucket between 45 and 50 mile per hour wind gusts. Watch what happens through the afternoon. We're still seeing some gusts over 40 miles per hour along the shore. Inland spots are going to be the first to see the winds gradually subside. This is 3.30 in the afternoon, so gusts between 25 and 35 miles per hour. And then by the evening hours, those winds have taken a step in the right direction with sustained winds 5 to 10 miles per hour and gusts around 20. Here's our center of our storm system, intense storm here, lifting up towards the north and east. This upper level feature has been pinwheeling through. That's what's kept the gusty winds around. And as we see that lift further away, our winds gradually subsiding. So we're clear five o'clock in the evening, breezy, but dry and heading into the evening hours going to keep things dry and cool as well. So our temperatures dropping off. Notice all the cool air back to our west as we move through the afternoon. Temperatures again next few hours at least will be fairly steady into the low and mid 50s as we add a little bit of sunshine back into the picture and then 630 this evening falling to the upper 40s to lower 50s and dropping at 10 o'clock at night to around 49 degrees late tonight low temperatures mid 40s it'll be clear cool with the west winds 10 to 15 miles per hour we're going to see some breezy conditions for trick or treating tomorrow especially in the earlier part of the day and it'll be cooler than the this evening 49 degrees at seven o'clock and by nine o'clock in the evening down to around 46. We'll wake up on Wednesday morning to chill in the air overnight lows down to around 38 degrees and then topping out in the middle 50s. Now, the good news is there are no major storm systems in this seven day future cast. We had a big storm last week and then the one that came through last night and this morning we'll get a little breather, a couple of showers possible. Let's say wait late Wednesday night or early Thursday and and then Friday, Saturday into the weekend after a mild start to the weekend will be cooling back down. Tony is going to have the latest updates on your full future cast tonight starting live at five. All right, thanks for